Some dramatic developments at the Hawaii Volcanoes National Park as lava suddenly drains out of the Pu'u'u'u crater. Take a look at the changing face of Kilauea. Big difference from yesterday. A dramatic aerial view over the Pu'u'u'u crater. For a couple of months, it's been bubbling up and coning over. Now a huge cave-in, the magma disappearing into the earth. Blue Hawaiian helicopter pilot James Cavaco watched the events unfold. The sides of the walls just broke down. A look back, June 29th, the pond and the crater walls are building. July 21st, a month later, from the same spot, the lava floor has lifted, making it almost unrecognizable. Only days ago, the lava now filling the entire crater, coming within yards of breaching its walls. But by Wednesday afternoon, it was gone. So what we did see is that the Pu'o'o crater floor deflated and was deflating, and then about... Um, I think it was by about 315 the crater floor and the lava lake began to collapse. And shoved all that lava out the back side, the west side of the Pu'u'u event, along the uh, east rift zone of Fisher, and just tons of lava, rivers of lava created a huge, huge lake out there today. The south branch of that flow um, had already advanced three kilometers downslope uh, within about an hour and a half, uh, which, you know, which is impressive. Cavaco says the floor appears to be headed toward the ocean and the tree line. A mass of magma released along the East Rift Zone. And hopefully by tomorrow it'll be in the ocean. Scientists from the Hawaii Volcanoes National Park say the new lava flow is staying within the park and for the time being poses no threat to residents.